from Daenerys daring escapades with law enforcement to Angel Guise's park encounter that took an unexpected turn. Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Oh my God! These three gripping incidents showcase the intense moments that unfolded when the law met resistance. Disclaimer, all content in this video is for general educational purposes only. Law enforcement officers and an individual were involved in a conversation about an incident. The individual explained details about an item Daenerys had, referring to a truck, a security band, and a firearm. Officer Myers was on his way out of the police station when he spotted Daenerys, and then this happened. Hold on, come here, I gotta, I gotta talk to you. Come here, come here. You're being detained, come here. So you didn't tell me to hold on. No, hold don't, it, hold don't, hold don't grab me. No, don't, don't, don't even start. Man, don't, don't, don't even start. In. Don't even start. Let me go, please. Let Walk. me go. I want to put you, you in handcuffs. You're making this situation. You're gonna go in wrong. handcuffs because you're walking away. And I didn't you know I was being detained. When you you're told being me, detained. You when your you, ass in when here. When you told me I was Walk. being detained, I stopped Walk. and I came back to you. Okay. Didn't I? Then you're gonna go my way. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Please stop. You're gonna get handcuffs if you don't stop. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm trying to. Can you please calm down? You need to Please. calm down. Don't I don't know. know if you got a uh, weapon. Hey, I don't know what you got. Turn around and put your hands on I'm the wall. Search, search me. The individual was upset, confused about the detention, unhappy with how officers were handling things, and felt mistreated. All right, we good. Come on. Take a step back. You shaking and stuff. You supposed to be a police officer. Shut your mouth. I said, why well, I got to shut up? I'm a human just like you a human. Well, you ain't acting like one. I'm not acting like a Put human. your hands on the wall. Come on, man. You don't got to be doing all that. Why are you running? I'm not running. I was walking to my truck. I didn't even know the police. I didn't. I didn't even know you were here. You're gonna get detained right now. No, I don't want to be detained because why I gotta be detained? When you told me, when you told me, hey sir, you being detained. What did I do? I came back. You're gonna listen to what I'm telling you. No, listen, listen, listen. When you told me I was being detained. Sit over here. All right, then I'll sit down, but you don't have to do sit all out. this. I'm a grown man. Sit down. Another officer arrives, but despite trying to talk his way out, he's arrested by both. Hey, how you doing today? Oh, uh, I didn't know y'all was here, all right? I took out walking out the door, going towards my truck. He came out behind me doing his job. I respect you for doing your job. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to do that, Mr. Myers. Your name is Myers. Can I call you Mr. Myers? Officer Myers is... Normal. All right, my name is Daenerys. All right, nice to meet you. It's a bad way to meet somebody. But can you shake my it hand? Is. Can you shake Not my hand? Not right now. Well, I came out going to my truck. All right. He told me, stop, stop, stop. As soon as he told me, hey, sir, you being detained. That's when I said, okay, but I'm being detained. Let me turn around and go towards you. And when I, I could, tell you you're going no, in handcuffs no. for safety because you don't listen. That's what you do. What is your first name? Again? My name is Daenerys. D E N. Yes, sir. Here's, the two, here's your two options. Yes, sir. One, we walk yes, back inside. We go into a, a, an office or a room. Mm -hmm. We sit down and we have a, a civil conversation. We try to work through whatever's going on right yes, now. Yes, sir. Option two is you are going to be put in handcuffs. You are going to be detained until we can work through it while we're outside. So those are your two options. If you put handcuffs on me, can they be in the front? Put your hands behind your back. Oh, I said the You're not in control. I'm not in control. control. Put your hands behind your back. What's wrong with you? The individual then got arrested and discussed potential charges relating to obstructing and resisting orders, where he also admitted that he did indeed possess a firearm. Uh, What's up? In the state of Illinois, if I got a possession of a firearm in my, in my vehicle, like it's not my vehicle, it's on the property, I still get charged with a felony, right? Who's, you, whose firearm is it's, it? It's supposed to be a friend of mine, but I just got it in my possession. Okay, you have no firearm card or anything like no, that? And, no, sir. Okay, I know, so we gotta figure that one that, out. How does that work? Well, we're gonna have to figure it out, okay? I'm not sure how it's gonna oh, work. Wait, look. And whose truck is it? Uh, it's a warning truck. Okay, listen. But can you check my arm out real quick? Uh, what do you mean check? I know y'all gonna charge me with resistance. Like, uh, my, I feel like I'm bleeding through my... All right, no, I'm scraped up. Blood. No, no blood or anything. Uh, Maybe some scraped up. Hang on. Can I talk... Hey, can I talk to, um... Hang on, I will ask. So I'm asking, like, am I getting arrested right now? I mean, at this point, I'll leave that in their hands. And, yeah, okay. Get arrested? Min minimum, you're gonna be charged for obstructing and resisting. Uh, yeah, because you're uh, obstructing a lawful order, yes, sir. and then obviously when we told you to put your hands behind your back, yes, they refused. Yes, sir. So, so minimum you're going to be charged with that. From there on out, I don't know. I guess it depends on, do you really have uh, a, a firearm card uh, from Louisiana? No. Do you, you lawfully need, possess one? You don't need one. You just open carry state. 
So anybody can just go buy a gun in Louisiana? As long as you're not a felon, anybody can buy a gun. You don't have to apply for a no, firearm card? No, no, no. They run your background check. As long as you're not a felon. You can go to a porn shop right now. As long as you're not a felon in the state of Louisiana, you can possess a firearm in your vehicle. The officers mentioned the possibility of releasing the individual with misdemeanor charges on a signature bond, along with discussions about transportation arrangements to Louisiana and the handling of the firearm as evidence. Daenerys' slick moves are something, but wait till you see the unsettling case of Miss Jackson at a Circle K store. Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Oh my God! On August 8th, 2022, Angel Guis and an unnamed male were hanging out at Shady Valley Park in Northeast Atlanta after it had closed. Officer Brooks, identified as the cop, proceeded to issue the pair a citation. And what began as a normal situation soon escalated into a much bigger one. The officer got out of the car and greeted the two individuals and asked for their IDs. What's going on? How y'all doing? Hello. All right. When well, I see the Ohio tab, I'm not sure if y'all from here or not, but you can't be inside the park in the city of Atlanta between the hours of 11 p.m. 6 a.m. Okay. Right. You got your IDs on you? Uh -huh. You have your IDs on you? Yes. Come and need them. After handing out the citation, Officer Brooks requested signatures. While the male complied, the female's response was completely different. All right, sir, like I explained to you, uh, you can't be in the park at night. Everyone's just going to receive a uh, simple ticket stating that uh, he was in the park at the hour. All right. Let me get a sign right on Where am I signing over? Is it, is it a charge or anything? Or uh, you just it's just a ticket. Oh, and I have to sign it? Uh, you can not sign it and go to jail. It's this one here. This one here, sure. Come over here for me, ma'am. Can you come here, ma'am? All right, so you're going to receive a ticket for being in the park at the hours. All right? Just need to sign right here on the X. But because we're out of, didn't you say we were out of time so we wouldn't have known that? Yeah, but that's, that's not a valid reason why. Should be in the park. Geese headed back to her car, retrieved her phone to record the interaction, and asked for Brooks's badge number. And what's your badge number? 7452. And what's your name? Officer Brooks. Geese then refused to sign the citation, even though Officer Brooks had told them that the refusal to sign would lead to them being arrested. Okay, and I don't have to sign this, right? You do have to sign it. No, I don't. Well, like I explained to him, if you don't sign it, then you're going to be physically taken to jail. Gotcha. So are you refusing to sign? What's your name? Officer Brooks, 7452. What's the badge number? I gave it to you two times, man. Okay, I'm asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Are you going to sign it? No, because I want your badge okay. number. That's fine. The officer then proceeded to get her behind Geese's back and arrest her, after which she started resisting. Turn up the chance behind you back for me. Hey, listen, my man. She says she's not signing. Well, she, put your hands she, behind your back. Sir, sir. you're hurting me. Okay, I'm actually to put your hands behind your back. Um, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Sir. Man, put your hand behind your back. Come on. Come on. I need you to back up. I'm just saying. Like, I need you, you to back up. You don't need to touch her like that. She's, she's not putting her hands she behind was, her back. I'm asking. I'm asking a question. Asking for, okay. I'm, I'm just. All I'm doing is asking. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind you. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I, but, sir, put your hands I, behind I'm your asking back. you a question. Okay. I'm letting you know. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to forcefully put your hands behind your back. But, sir, Mr. Brooks, is this really necessary? Mr. Brooks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, listen, my she man. Needs back put, up. She needs to put her hands behind her back. Can let I? Her phone, okay, you can put your phone down. Okay, let Mr. Brooks. Oh, my on, God. Sir. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back. Geese got free of the officer's hold and questioned his need for arresting her, after which she said she would sign the papers. However, it was too little too late. I'm going to sign the ticket. No, I'm not here to play games with you. I know, but I'm going to sign. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going, Mr. Brooks, I'm going not, to sign. Put your hands behind your back. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. I'm asking you, why am I putting my hands behind my back? I'm, going, you're under arrest. I'm going to sign the ticket, but why am I under arrest? Sir, she's about to sign the ticket. I'm going to sign the ticket. She's about to sign the ticket. That's all you to do is sign the ticket. That's all it is. I'm going to sign the ticket. That's all she to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I'm going to sign the ticket now, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. You don't have that option now. 
Why don't I have the option, Mr. I gave Brooks? you two options. She was just asking for Mr. your badge Brooks, number I'm at asking first. for your badge number, and I wasn't clear on why you were giving me your badge sir, number. You have, sir, you do not have to tell her like that. Oh, my God. Sir. The arrest turned into a physical confrontation, and Geese was tackled to the ground, where she started saying please for help. Mr. Brooks. I'm asking, I'm telling you that I'm going to find the ticket, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to find the ticket. Why am I being arrested? Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Yes, oh, my God. I'm so sick. Oh my God, please, in the name of Jesus, please, God, in the name. Why am I being arrested, Mr. Brooks? I'm going to sign the ticket. Mr. Brooks, why am I being arrested? Why am I being arrested? I don't understand why I'm being arrested. Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Can you tell me why I'm being arrested? Right. I, have right. Right. I have the right. I have the right to know. Oh my God. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. What are you taking her for? I won't take it. Why are you pulling it out? Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. 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 Stop why am I being arrested? Just put your, <laughs> Just put your hands behind I your back. I don't understand why I'm being arrested. That's why I'm not putting my hands behind my back. You're not giving me a reason. So why am I getting arrested? I'm not finna. You didn't have it told me my rights. You told me why I'm being arrested. That's why I'm not finna. Why am I being arrested? 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 Why am I Geese continued being confused as to why she was being arrested. Oh my God! I don't understand why I'm not being arrested. I don't understand. Why am I being arrested? Please, sir, you have not told me why I'm being arrested. That's why I have not put my hands behind my back. You have not told me that you have not read me my rights or anything. And you're still doing this to me. I don't understand. The officers then put her in the marked vehicle while the male she was with said she was physically hurting. Where y'all taking her? Oh my oh, God! Back up. What do you mean back oh up? This God. is my friend. Back up. Back up. How hot is it? Back She's up. hurting right now. Oh She's crying. What do you mean take care of her? We just were just here for a party. Now she's dying in her rest. Oh my God! Oh, oh my god! The situation ended with Officer Brooks explaining the situation to the other cops that had arrived to the situation and with escorting Geese to the hospital. As we navigate through these riveting encounters, the chaotic struggle with Miss Jackson at a convenience store makes one thing clear. People can be hurt when law meets resistance. Get my phone, bro! <laughs> Stop resisting! On September 9th, 2021, officers Perez Maces and Katan Zaridi responded to a call from a Circle K convenience store requesting the removal of a woman who had fallen asleep outside. What transpired next is a troubling sequence of events captured on camera. The officers try to wake the woman up who seemed disoriented, possibly due to sleep. They proceeded to ask her for name and identification. Hey. You okay? Oh yeah. All right. What happened? I'm not sorry. You just fell asleep. I know. I got you. You okay? Yes, sir. Say so you look like you were sleeping pretty good. Okay. Ma'am, what's your name? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. What's your name, though? I don't know my name. I'm sorry, I can't hear it. Emily, what? Do you have your ID, ma'am? I just need to identify it. The woman hesitated to provide her ID. The situation quickly escalated when dispatch informed the officers of an active warrant from another county. All right, Ms. Jackson. Yeah. So, you do have a warrant for this yeah. early conduct, okay? Out of Candler County. I know that. It's just a little con there, and I saw it to an officer when he kicked his chest cam. And I sat there, and it's like this. I know I have a warrant, mm -hmm. but they let me go when I left Toombs County. After Toombs County laid on me, kept me for a week, got the matter, oh. got here. I done paid for the civil suit chase. I should not be on probation here. I got gotcha. you. Yes, ma'am. But you do, you still do have that warrant that is yeah, active no. right now. You want to transport me? I'll take you. Ma'am, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take County, you. Right? We're going to go to meet. jail and sit there. And then I'll be in prison. 
The officers, upon learning about the warrant, decided to take the woman into custody. Despite her confusion and apparent distress, they proceeded with the arrest. I ain't gotta do anything if y'all wanna fight, we'll fight. No, ma'am, we're not gonna do that. Okay. Then I'm supposed to help y'all. Ma'am, ain't y'all gonna start we, paying okay. me. Miss Jackson, we need you I'm to turn. We finna, we I'm turn. finna get in to put my stuff in your truck, and we finna go. You're gonna put your hands. Cause I can call my mama, I can call my you're dad, put your hands and it's back gonna first. be up. All right, Miss Jackson, okay. you're gonna put your hands behind your back first. I ain't got no Three ten, can you I ain't head got this way? nothing. I can take off running. Okay, well we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we're gonna chase the night in the rain. Barefoot in the rock. I'm not going to matter and sit in the cell for hours on top of hours when I've been dropped from them charges. I got you. That's All something right. you're going to have to speak with them they with. They transported me here. Magistrate court said I could not come back until I go to court. She's getting so a little tell rowdy. me about that. Okay. Right. Yes, ma'am. I'm not going to argue gonna with you. I'm going to call. I'm going to find out myself since you won't ask. Okay. So I'm a first responder. I'm a firefighter. I helped y'all last night. That was some fucked up shit. Metaphor 314. The woman, identified as Miss Jackson, expressed frustration, but the officers acted to arrest her. A struggle ensued as the officers attempted to handcuff Miss Jackson. Y'all gonna chase. We're not no, no, we're not doing chase. this. Man, I don't care. Y'all can stop pissing the rest. Oh, y'all want. Let go of the back. No, it's my stuff. Let go of For y'all to go through it and with me all the time. I don't want y'all to have nothing no more. Stop. Stop. No, resist. I'm already the bitch. I'm not going there. Y'all got to shoot me in my damn head. That's how I'm going to Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Oh, I'm fucking with me. You trying to make me hit the guy. The situation took a concerning turn as a physical altercation unfolded. Miss Jackson resisted arrest, and the officers literally struggled to gain control. Now you won't work. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Three ten, step it up. Behind step. We all could just let me get in. Put your hands behind your back. No. Now. No. We're not asking. Okay. We tried. Cut a guy in. We tried to now do I'll this civil. Stop resisting. Stop. Jackson. Okay. I already got three probate in here. Shockingly, and with a surge of heavy force, Miss Jackson dragged the police officers and herself collapsing into the ground. What happened next was long coming for Miss Jackson. Get my ball, bro. Stop resisting! I got this arm. I got this arm. I got this arm. I got the left arm. I got the left arm. We're good. You got it. Oh, you want my left hand? That's his Need another pair? No, we got that. No, we got that. Oh, all right. Yeah. We got a left arm. Yeah. The officers successfully handcuffed Miss Jackson and she was placed in the police vehicle. Police transport the woman to the department and even after all the chaos she caused, she still had some show left in her. You following? Yeah. You got two behind you. Show us seven states, bro. I'm gonna be a route to the BCSO, one female. Hey, come on out. Baby, the Come on now. Leave me the f alone! Leave me alone! You're getting the f out of my door! Get 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 I got it. Stand your big ass 
Da. Two cops can't take down one. Sure, it's not my best friend. Yeah, they should have sent me. Yeah, I would have been in the car with your guy and I appreciate it. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the complexities officers face in routine calls. It's crucial to acknowledge the authority of law enforcement and cooperate with their instructions to maintain a safe and orderly society.